Hey everybody, welcome back to Auto Anatomy. I am Sean, thank you so much for joining. Today we're gonna to be back working on my wife's car and we're gonna do something that is gonna save you several hundred dollars. Stay tuned. So you've seen my wife's car in a few videos where we've changed the timing belt, we fixed that uh, P2105 light for, for very, very cheap. And today we're gonna to be working on changing the DSG transmission fluid. Now to service your DSG transmission at the dealership, um, most places are gonna charge about four or $500. So I picked up a kit from FCP Euro and a little adapter from Amazon. And for about $100 and an hour of your time, you too can change your DSG transmission fluid. Let's get started. So I picked up a transmission change kit from FCP Euro. And this includes all of the filter, the fluid, everything that you need in order to change your fluid. And I also printed off some instructions from Blau Parts that is a step-by-step -step on how to change the fluid on your VW with DSG. So the first thing to do is get the car up in the air and it needs to be level front to back and side to side. The first step is going to be taking out the battery and the battery box because we need to get right under here in order to get to the transmission filter. Next up, we're gonna pull out the battery and take out the clamp and all the way down there at the bottom, I don't know if you can see it, it's a 13 millimeter bolt. The battery tray is held in with a couple of 10 millimeters and then one Allen head right there. So there's another 10 millimeter hiding all the way down here that I forgot. So make sure you get that one too. Now with the battery box out, you can see this is the transmission filter right there. The next step is gonna be going under the car and pulling off the splash shield. Now that the um, splash pan is off, we're gonna pull out the drain plug. So let me show you where that is on this car. It's a 14 millimeter. And looking under the car on the transmission, that's that one right there. So we're gonna take a 14 millimeter and unscrew that. Make sure you've got a clean um, drain pan ready to go because about two liters is gonna come out of this thing. All right, next up, we're gonna take an eight millimeter and there's another plug right there. And that's gonna come out. Now that all the fluid is drained, we're gonna install this little adapter here. Now I picked this thing up from Amazon. It was maybe 20 bucks. I don't remember exactly, but this thing is going to screw in where that 14 millimeter hex is and allow us to fill the transmission. So let's screw this in to the pan and then we're gonna hook up a 3 8 inch hose and run it to the top side so that we can fill the transmission via a funnel. All right, next is we're gonna take our filter off, and this is a 24 millimeter right on top of the transmission here. Next, we're gonna take our new filter and push it right back into the, uh, the housing. Replace the O-ring on, um, on the housing cover with the new one that comes in the kit and put that right back into the car. Before we refill the transmission, we're gonna reinstall the battery box and get everything on the top end all tidied up. Okay, while the engine is in park and idling, uh, continue to gravity feed fluid into the transmission. This will allow several more liters to flow into the transmission. Allow all five uh, to empty into the transmission, and then quick really, really quick, and then allow all five to empty in flow into the transmission. Quickly remove the fill adapter and hose, and install the drain plug and sealing washer snug. The drain plug only needs to be tight enough to minimize the leak. 
we will be removing the drain plug again during a later step. Okay, now that I've got about two and a half liters of fluid in the transmission, let's crank it up and run it through the gears. Turn the radio off here. And it said to run it through all the gears for five seconds each. All right, now that all of the fluid is in the car, we're gonna take the adapter out and screw in that long eight millimeter drain plug. And then what's gonna happen is the transmission finds its own fluid level because if it's above the height of that long plug, it drains over and spills over into that, uh, that hollow plug and comes out the, uh, the drain plug. But, if it's, but when it gets right, it comes down to that point and stops. And that's the place where your transmission fluid is right. So let's pull off the adapter and screw in that eight millimeter plug, crank up the engine, let it run. And then um, once it stops dripping, then we'll screw the 14 millimeter plug back in with a new washer and we'll be done. All right, now that it's all back together, I'm gonna to take it on a quick test drive. It does have a few lights on the dashboard and that was from spinning the wheels with it um, you know, up in the air. So the front wheels were going at a different speed than the back wheels. But now that I've taken it for a test drive, it's gone away. Looks like it's shifting through all the gear as well. Um, I think this is a, uh, another successful job. And this is a way to save probably several hundred dollars doing it yourself. Now the kit from FCP Euro for the, uh, the five quarts of DSG fluid and the filter was about 130 bucks if I can remember. I'll put a link in the description below. But for an hour of your time at $130, you can probably save several hundred dollars doing this yourself. There's only a couple of little small uh, tools that you need and the, uh, the adapter I picked up on Amazon for like 20 bucks. That's gonna wrap up this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the kind of things that we're doing here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click on the bell to be notified when new videos come out. Thank you so much for watching. God bless, we'll see you next time.